here at 3-1. Basically the same same record coming into this fight. One of the things that I noticed here is um, um, our Pakistani Hyder Farman was a little bit underweight on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for our first battle of the night. It takes place in the flyweight division. Three five-minute rounds. Let me introduce our first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. He's a kickboxer with a professional record of three wins and one loss. He stands 162.5 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 57.5 kilograms. Fighting out of the Philippines. Give it up for Choma And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He's a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record with three wins and one loss. He stands 160 centimeters tall and weighs in at a ready 52 kilograms. Fighting out of Pakistan. Give it up for Hayden the Giant Pharma. Here we go. This is the first fight of the night. Haidar Farman out of Pakistan taking on Jomar Pak. Big matchup to get things started. Two lightweight fighters. That means lighter weight. That means a quicker fight. Don't blink. You're going to see a lot of action out of these two. It's going to be Pak in the red trunks. In the black and the white is Haidar Farman. Now expect a lot of fights from uh, Jomar. A lot of kicks. A lot of hands, and then especially some takedowns like what we watched in uh, Stephen Lohman last time. Stephen Lohman, what a performance he had there at Brave One. And right out of the gate, Jomar Pak is pushing the pace and, and staying aggressive on Haidar Farman. Good kicks. That's what I'm talking about. He's probably going to start chopping up that leg and eventually set, up, set himself up for that takedown. Fighting out of the Philippines, they just, they're a very aggressive type fighter. Uh, really bring it here, and of course, you don't want to settle down Pakistan here. This Paki fighter, very wow, talented. excellent right hand, not wasting any time. Oh, Jomar, a nice knee followed up with it. Wow, pushing the pace is Jomar Pak into the corner now, trying very hard to bring him to the ground. But Haidar Farman doing a great job of staying on his feet. Yeah, that was a very nice knee to the body. Uh, now, right now, with Haidar Farman needs to move those hips. Get away from the cage and, and and really break apart and start a start to start a striking bout with this guy. A Sancho background, Team Lakai out of the Philippines, Jomar Pak. Two fighters, exact same height, nearly the exact same age and the exact same record. Does it get any better matched than that? No, I'm really excited about this match. Uh, we, when we put this one together, um, I, I was thinking uh, this was going to be such a very important fight, especially at this weight division. And he completes the takedown, Jomar Pak. Not a few points there on the eyes of the judges. Jomar Pak is nice, setting up a really good takedown. Nice, just good control. He's very calm, very talented. I like his setup here. He, what he's trying to do now is trying to pass over that knee. His knee is stuck on Jomar. So he's got to put higher form. Gonna, there he goes. Now he's got into uh, half, half guard right there. It's a good position to be in to neutralize your opponent. As you can see, he's hanging on under the neck of Jomar Pak, and now it looks like he's going to get back up to his feet. And no, Pak keeps him on the ground. Yeah, definitely getting good pressure, just holding him down, staying really calm and collected. Showing his, oh, showing his pedigree right here. Excellent. Nice shot. Good. Solid bout. Oh, wow. Jomar Pak nice with the ground he's attack, but he's in the triangle. That could be a very bad spot. Wow, excellent. What a way to sneak it. And he is just going to clamp down hard. Now and he's try to switching it over to an armbar. Sneaky submission skills by Harnar Farman. Trying to complete the submission here in our first fight of our brave two prelims. He's got it nice and tight. Jomar is defending it very well. He's staying calm there. What he needs to do is he needs to posture up. 
did arm his arm out. He's obviously not quite getting the pressure that he wants right now. Now the referee took away uh, Farman's hand. He was holding onto the cage, which is illegal here. Nice armbar. He's flexing it really nice. He's got to get his hips up and really extend up to the sky to, to finish that armbar. But he is solid with that triangle. How quickly things can change. It looked like Jomar Pak was well on his way here in round number one. And that quick, you can slip into a submission. And now Haidar Farman is in the driver's seat here, trying to squeeze a submission out on Jomar Park. I don't think he's going to be able to hold this on for too much longer. Jomar Park needs to really defend that, put his knee on there, and get up. There he is. What he needs to do is hold on to that head, squeeze his knees together, and pull that head down. There you go. He's about to lose it. Jamar there it is. And he's Excellent. Out. Nice. Great defense. Now in a great spot, Jamar Park raining down punches. He might be tired. He worked a long time trying to squeeze that triangle, trying to complete that submission. That takes a lot of energy out. There goes that triangle set up again. Now Jamar recognizes it and defends it very well. Jomar Pak in a great spot here. He has had Farman on his back. Oh, here we go. Now we got the 10 seconds left. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. See if we get a late. We got a cut too on, on, on Foreman. The result of the ground and pound, and Jomar Pak with a great round number one. He spent a lot of that round in a predicament with the submission. Right. That being said, he hung in there and he ended out on top, raining down punches. That's great in the eyes of the judges. Yeah, I really think uh, this man. That's a tricky round, right? <laughs> I think Jomar um, did the better of the, did the more effective striking in this round. Uh, I would definitely have to go with it. he had more control uh, and definitely more more damage done to the Yeah, opponent. most likely he's going to take round number one. And now coming into round two, you got to believe that the coaches for Jomar Park are telling him to be easy with those submissions, not to slip in, not to overcompensate. I, I would tell Jomar to stay stay standing. You are winning those exchanges. You're a lot better. There he is on the replay. He's, he can control on the ground, but obviously, Hyder uh, can really get pull in some, some sneaky submissions. And there you go. That was your replay. And we'll move on to round number two here. Two young fighters getting things started here in the kingdom of Bahrain. The very anticipated second event for the Brave Combat Federation. What a night we are going to have tonight. In our main event here of our prelim card is going to be Alex Da Silva taking on Daniel Swain. How big of a fight is that? Oh, that's going to be such an excellent fight. I cannot wait until they start this fight. And here we go. Round number two is underway once again. Jomar Pak in the red. Haidar Farman in the black with the white trim. Yeah, Jomar needs to just keep it up here. He's getting the exchanges. Nice kick. He needs to set those kicks up, stay the distance, just keep, just keep, and look for that finish. Keep those strikes going. Nice catch on the kick by Hanar Farman. He's not able to complete a takedown. It looked like he was trying to get in there and yeah. get a quick takedown. Nice. Jomar does a really good, nice left hook to Beautiful him. Beautiful left hook. Now he just, just stay back and just, there we go. Looks like he's going for the finish here. Oh, he's covering up his Farman and nice. he's eating some shots. Jomar Pak. He's game. Beautiful stand up. Mix it in the knees. Body, body, head. We're seeing everything out of Joe Marpop. Wow, what a game guy. Look at it. He's really stepping into it. He's not backing down. Oh, and a big right hand trying to set up the takedown. Farman does a great job trying to employ his own offense. Definitely avoided the takedown there. That was really good. Joe Mar just needs to keep his cool, keep his composure, keep those, keep those jabs out there. He's winning those exchanges. Haidar Farman showing us a little bit more here, though, in round number two with the stand-up. Answering a few questions with Jomar Pak. If he can stay aggressive, I feel like he can do much of the same as round one. Yeah, I think he really let him off there. It looked like he almost had that finish. But it, uh, there he goes, going for that takedown. 
And he is going to get it, but he I may have walked right into a guillotine. And is the arm in, and it's not in. So he's yanking back as Haidar Farman. But I don't know how much pressure he's really getting underneath the neck of Joe Marpat. No, he's trying to he's trying to secure his hands. Uh, it's really hard to finish that choke from from with one hand or with one arm. Joe Mar's out of it already. You can tell. He's working that triangle submission again. Good, nice, heavy punches coming from Domar. Brave 2 Dynasty being seen in over 20 countries, being seen line on line. This is such a monumental event from Brave 1 to Brave 2. We've made some huge advances. Yes, absolutely huge. Uh, this, this fight card is stacked. Uh, and and w on this show, I cannot wait to see uh, Alex Silva versus uh, Daniel Swain. That's going to be an uh, amazing bout. Well, we, we saw what happened in Brave number one where we had an undefeated Brazilian come in there and lose that O, basically. And that could happen again because I'll tell you what, Daniel Swain, he's more of a veteran. He's been in some big fights. And you got to wonder, has he had better competition than Alex da Silva? Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. You really don't know. That is going to be an intriguing matchup, and that is going to be our fifth fight here in the prelims. That'll be your main event. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, he's going to be tested uh, with this one. Uh, Daniel Swain is, is a really tough competitor. Uh, Alex Da Silva, you know, 17 wins, all finishes, never has never seen the third round. It's so, insane, isn't it? Yeah, it really is when you when you look at a record like that. And we're still here in round number two with about a minute and a half to go. Hyder, Hyder ate a nice knee on the way up. He looks, he looks winded, but he is game. He keep throwing in there. He's staying aggressive. He needs to, he needs to be more effective though with those strikes. Maybe a size. There might be a size uh, difference here. Well, when you look at the two fighters, I mean, how much bigger does Joe Pac look right now? It seems like he has so much more weight on him, a bigger frame. It just seems like he's recovered from the weight cut much better yes. than Hyder Farman. But as you can see, Hyder is, is, is not backing down from any of these fights, man. He's, he's taking all those punches and he's still coming forward. Well, and that's the best thing that he can do right now is to stay aggressive, to continue to move forward yep. instead of being on the defensive nice. like he is right Hit. now. Jomar, this could be the end here. He's, he needs to go to the body to set up those nice. headshots. He, just when you think it's over, he keeps coming back. Wow. Well, what he's doing is he's punching right into the gloves of Hydar Farman, but yeah. he should go to the body and set up those head shots. He needs to, he needs to hit, definitely attack the body. Set up those kicks. Yeah, it's something you see in MMA a lot where they don't attack the body as much as they should. You see that a lot in boxing. You don't see it enough in MMA. Right. Nice, nice. Uh, Jomar's getting there. Oh, he just hit a really straight one. And that's right. Oh, he might be coming two. back. Oh, what a good one. And round two good is round. up. And an incredible comeback by Farma showing us a little bit more there in round number two. That one's going to be much closer than round one. I am looking at Hyder Farman right now. He's sitting down right now on the mat, not waiting for his corner. Uh, he looks absolutely exhausted. We'll have to see how what's going to happen in this third bout. But wow, what a come from behind here for Hyder Farman and really finishing in that, that round very strong. Yeah, no, I agree. Showing us a little bit more than in round number one, starting to come on a little bit better, but he does look very winded right now. You gotta wonder his condition going into round three, where he's gonna be. You see the Sheik watching very closely. A vision of his from the get-go, KHK MMA, and now Brave Combat Federation. And we've really come a long way just in the last year and now things are going to an ultimate new level. Well, we reach it here with uh, Brave 2. Now we have uh, Hyder Farman. I mean, he looks like he's exhausted. Let's see what happens. He, I have him down two rounds uh, to one. I think uh, uh, Jomar needs to finish this, this fight if he wants to, uh, you know, if he wants to, to get, get this W. Well, it looks like we're getting a little bit of a sense of urgency from Hyder. He, he wants to come forward. He needs to be more aggressive with the strikes. If he wants to go to the ground, he needs to make that happen in this round. We haven't really seen him from top position do any work. He might still be a little bit tight. I mean, a little bit hurt from that from the last round. 
Oh, and here comes Foreman. How bad does he want it? Beautiful leg kick, outside leg kick, smacking against Jomar Pop. Nice. Oh, oh and he connects oh, with the left wow. hand. Farma. Are you kidding me? That left hand put him to the ground. But now is he going to give time for Pac to recover? That's not a great position for Farmer. Uh, we've got to watch out. Uh, those, those, uh, those shots to the, to the back are, are illegal. 12-6 elbows. Very close to the spine, and you've got to believe that our referee is watching very, very closely to make sure that the fight is not in danger. That opening minute, though, very impressive by Haidar Farman. And now what he did is he put himself on his back, and now Joe Marfox is able to recover, and that's not a great spot for Farman to be right now. One of the strengths from Team Lakai, which is where uh, Joe Marfox trains at, uh, is this takedown. So they, he set up a really nice takedown. He's holding him down now. He knows he's up two rounds to one. He just got hurt. He's probably going to try to uh, uh, ride the round out, stay on top. He's continue probably going to stay on top and try to dominate on the ground. But he has to watch out. Obviously, the officials are going to watch uh, closely for inactivity. There's nothing going on. If he's not trying to pass the guard, if he's not trying to make something happen, then that's the official's job to stand the fight up. And, and sure keep enough, here we go. And <laughs> right on time. That's right. This is some good refereeing that we have here. Some good commentating. That's right. That one. <laughs> right down to the tee. Here we go. Round number three, oh, third and final round. It. These guys want fight of the night, it seems. Oh, they're really putting it out there. Something you often see from the fighters in the lighter weight classes, they give you some pretty game performances. You're not going to see these guys lugging around. Wow. That's, it, right now, somebody needs to finish this fight right now. They are just... Jomar, Jomar Pak should be throwing down his kicks. Now he's the cleaner puncher. There it is. That's what we need to see. More straight punches. More setups with those kicks. Jomar Pak pushing the pace, trying to finish the fight. He's obviously a little winded. Oh, he's exhausted. But he is staying put. How much left does Farman have? Does he have enough? for a late surge here in round number three. Possibly to steal the round at the end, he's gonna have to leave everything inside the cage. Yeah, I, I have him, definitely have him down two to one. He needs to really come out and try to finish this fight. He might be holding back, trying to save his energy for it. Good left hook. Going to work. Haidar Farman showing us something, showing us a little bit of life here with 90 seconds to go in our third and final round. Nice. Okay, good. Man, this has really become a back and forth round. Hide our farm on. Pushing the pace again. There's that left hook, man. He's solid with that left That's hook. That's the really equalizer good. right there. You see how he dips down with his right shoulder and really wings that left hand. Who has enough gas in the gas tank to finish off this fight? Are we going to see a finish or are we going to go to the decision? 50 seconds left here in our third and final round opening fight of grade two prelims. Let's see if these guys give us a huge flurry at the end. Farman's going to have to dig down deep. He's going to have to try to find a home for that left hook. If he can put him back down on the ground, another knockdown may secure the round for him. Which is going to make the decision that much more interesting. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice inside leg kick. Going to the top. But he keeps letting him off. Jomar Park needs to establish a good combination and then go try to finish this fight. But he's just uh, he's letting him off off the hook. You just can't nice string together knee. the combinations. He throws one or two punches and he separates. Oh. We're not seeing enough. And there you go. That's the end of the fight. Uh, we go the distance, and if that's any indication of the competition we're going to see tonight, uh, it's going to be a real good night of fights. That's the kind of heart that we're looking for, man. Nice stand-up fight. Two guys that put it all on the line. 100%. Both men should be proud of those performances. Haidar Farman and Jomar Pak giving it to the fans here in Bahrain. 
Rave 2 Dynasty. We are live on the air in over 20 plus, 20 countries. Omar Park, Haidar Farman, you can see both men have been through a war. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with Haider Farman. One of the things I'd like to just remind, these guys came in on basically a two week notice and they stepped up to the plate and uh, they, they put up one hell of a show out here for us today. 100%. Let's take a look at our replay. And there you go, just a lot of action here. Nice replay here shot. Here's that nice uh, right hand from uh, Jomar Pot. Here's that left hook that dropped him. And it looks like we have a decision. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Carlos Kramer, with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have gone to the scorecard and we have a unanimous decision. Your winner, out of the blue corner, from the Philippines!